I'm Mike Montgomery, and today we're making this modern concrete fireball on modern builds. Now you may remember my video from a few weeks ago of me making this concrete planner. Well, the same idea we used for this is what we're going to use for the fireball. So if you haven't seen this video, here's a link for it. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to make it again, and let's get started. Alright, so our first step is to find two plastic bowls. One will be smaller than the other, and the space between the two will make the form. The second step is to coat each of those bowls with some Pam or whatever kind of nonstick cooking spray that you have. Next, we're going to mix up some concrete. Now keep in mind, the more water you use in your mix, the smoother finish you're most likely going to get. And if you have a chunky mix, you're probably going to get a lot more air bubbles. Finally, we can pour that concrete into your bowl. Don't forget to stir it up and to vibrate it to knock out as many air bubbles as you can. And once that's done, you can put your small bowl into your large one. Don't forget to weigh it down. I used a 10 pound weight and that seemed to be perfect. And after you've done that and vibrated out the air, you can let it sit overnight. Then you can pop it out with an air compressor. That is the easiest way to do it. Super fast, super easy. Now as you can see, the top of my bowl is not smooth. But all I had to do was take a normal old razor blade and just kind of cut away and smooth out the top. And it worked great. And I used a pretty thick mix. That's why I have so many air bubbles. If you don't like that, add a little bit more water and it should be smoother. Alright, so now that all that is finished, you're going to need something to keep the rocks off of our fuel pack. That way it can burn properly. What I used was just a piece of chicken wire and I just bended it, shaped it. That way it just set a couple inches off of the bottom of the bowl. And now that that's finished, we can add our fuel. And what these are, if you don't already know, are the little fuel packs that caterers use underneath warming trays to keep food warm. And I'll put links to everything in the description. And now we can add our rocks, or whatever you want to use on the top. I just bought two packs from Dollar Tree for a buck a piece. Super cheap, and they look great. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, you can set it on fire. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, these gel packs emit a really low blue flame. No one's probably going to tell you this on the internet just because they want it to look good, but the trick to making a big flame like this is to put tiki fuel inside of the canister so it burns white or yellow and really high. Thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for a new video every week. And if you have any questions, you can just ask me in the comments or hit me up on social media. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.